Hi, Georgie. Oh. Hi. Can we talk? I'm kind of busy. I won't take that long. <laughs> I just need to tell you something. Okay. Georgie, I never replaced you. You listening? I couldn't ever replace you because you're irreplaceable. You'll always be my first child, my firstborn. And by giving you a chance for a better life, that was the hardest thing I ever did. But after meeting you and seeing how amazing your dad is, I know that it was the best and right decision. Why did you do it? I was young. I was getting to, ready to start veterinary school. And I knew I couldn't give you this beautiful, miraculous baby the life that she deserved. But I never stopped thinking about you and loving you. Do you know why I moved back to Austin? Because you got a job here. Nope. I came back because... Me? That's right. You moved your family across the country so you could be near me? <laughs> the day that I found out that you asked to meet me was one of the best days of my life. It was something I always dreamed about. Me too. I mean, I pictured us getting to know each other, me getting to know you, you getting to know me, and one day seeing all three of my kittens having fun, spending time together as one big happy family. Well, the last uh, <laughs> seems a little silly, right? It's not silly. I wanted things to be perfect too. I should have given you more time to prepare. I should have given Wyatt and Ev more time too. You know, they have gone through a lot lately. <laughs> Moving to a new state, getting a new sister. I guess I didn't think about that part. <sighs> I think that's why Ev decided she was gonna be a dog when she was gonna meet you. <laughs> she can be a little silly and quirky. I'm a little quirky too. I think quirky is a good thing. <laughs> oh, Prince, you're such a meatball. Cheers. You're a vegetarian, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>